Ang albay, Jasmine di magulangan. Celebrity guest panelist, Congresswoman Vilma Santos Recto. I need to turn to your, your back to see the question. And then we're waiting for you. This is my question. So much has happened to us in the course of a year. When we emerge from this crisis, what positive change do you foresee happening to humanity in general? Something positive that I have witnessed during the pandemic is how resilient and adaptable people are. We have been put through a lot the past year, but still we find ways to help one another and find, um, find ways to help. And at the end of the day, as long as we put our generosity and charity first, then together we can heal and we can get through this crisis. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number 23. Up next, we have candidate number one, Samantha Panilio. I chose Judge Mr. Rajo Laurel. Good evening, Binibini. Hi. Good, Good evening, evening Binibini. Good evening. YOLO, you only live once. Name something you learned and did for the first time during the pandemic, which you consider as the most life-changing of all. The one thing that I did during the pandemic was actually cook food for frontliners because I love to cook. And I also have a food vlog, which... Um, I do in my spare time, and it was such a fulfilling and humbling experience, you know, helping these people and helping contribute to the people who are actually in the front lines helping us Filipinos. And so I hope that what I did inspired other women too to also help out one another because the only way that we can survive and heal and recover through this pandemic is if we help one another. Thank you. Just in the nick of time, thank you so much, Bini Bini Moans. Next up, we have from Quezon Province, Bini Bini A, Patricia Babista. My question will be coming from Miss Liza Soberano. Hi, good evening, Patricia. So my question for you is, fake news, bashing, rants, and the like are abound on social media. Why do you think they should not be part of the new beautiful, even if they encourage social interactions on this platform? Social media is such a beautiful technology that has given us, but there is always limitations. So I hope that in social media, we will create a space well, the, where there is no hate. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Up next, we have Binibini number 25, Honey Grace Cartasano. Please pick your card. My judge is Mr. Josel Dosi. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Bini Bini number 25. Amidst the hardships and suffering the world is facing now, if you are given a chance to face God and ask one question, what will that be and why? If I would be having a chance chance to ask God, it is, it is why. But I know that everything happens for a reason. We may be facing pandemic right now, and there is so much uncertainty. But this revealed that every Filipino has a heart of a hero. So thank you, God, for everything, even though we're facing this pandemic. Thank you to all the Filipino heroes. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Next up from Masbate is BDB 17, Hannah Arno. My judge is Miss Pinky Webb. Hi, Hannah. Hello. 
Given the reach and power of social media, do you believe that genuine freedom of speech exists in the Philippines nowadays? Why or why not? First of all, freedom of speech is a basic human right that we all must remember. And it is important for a democracy. And with our upcoming election, we definitely need free speech. For example, on Twitter, we are limited to few characters. And what I have seen from these tweets has been powerful and has helped me think about who I would like to vote for in the upcoming election. Thank you. Thank you, Binibini number 17, Hannah Arnold. Next up, we have Binibini number 10, Maureen Montaigne. My judge is Secretary Benito Bendon Jr. Good evening, Binibini. Here's my question. Now that compassion is needed more than ever, what is your most recent act of kindness and how did this affect others? During the pandemic, I was in Shargao and together, friends and I banded together and we created the Shargao Community Kitchen. It was a trying time and everyone felt how hard it was. Our hearts were heavy. But together we rose, together we supported our communities and provided our hot meals and assistance to everyone on the island and helped as much as we could. And for me, it proved that together, community conquers all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vinny Vinny and Maureen Montaigne. And we have the last Vinny Vinny to show her heart. Vinny Vinny 12 from Cagayan de Oro, Cinderella Obenita. Hi, Dad and Nicole. I have chosen celebrity guest panelist, Mr. Michael Cinco. Can you turn to the screen to see your question? Hello and good evening to you, Vini Vini. Here's my question. How important are luxury items like bag, clothes, and jewelry for a woman when the national economy is down and struggling? In life, we always find ourselves at a crossroad of choices. Women always have a choice whether to prioritize luxury items when, while we are facing a pandemic, and also they have a choice to embrace the concept of a new beautiful, which is responsive to the needs of the time, adaptive to the change of times. And I think I would choose to be that woman who understands the problems of the Philippines, the problems of my community, so that we would be able to uplift each other. And I would be that kind of woman who would comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. My 